Hi guys. As you saw on the thumbnail today's tutorial is about masking. Masking is a very important part of AMV editing as well as boring also. You can do many things with the help of masking, like MoGraph, text animations, using overlay behind your character, removing background, and much more. There are a lot of alike motion masking tutorials on YouTube. But most of them has the same issue. They either use chroma key or vector drawing. Vector drawing is a good method of masking. But it's way much time consuming. And chroma key doesn't work on every clip. So in this video I'll show you how you can mask your clips easily and quickly using chroma key and vector drawing both together. There is an another useful effect for masking. Luma key. But people usually ignore it. In this video I'll explain all the effects in detail so the video might be long. Without wasting any more time let's start. So first we have this clip. It's very easy to mask, you can do it using vector drawing only. I make my edits in 30 frames per second but you can do it in 60 frames per second also. At first select the white background. Now duplicate the layer and hide it. Here I'm using chroma key and vector drawing. Add chroma key on the upper layer. Increase the amount until the background is removed properly. Some part from Sukuna's face also been removed. But don't worry we'll fix them using vector drawing. Add vector drawing and cover all the parts which you don't want to be removed. Imagine an outline around your character or subject, the vector drawing should go outside of the outline. Now place the vector drawing layer under your mask layer. Select these three layer and tap on group and mask. Go to edit group and change the blending mode to mask exclude. Now you have two layers one with the masked overlay layer and the main clip layer.
Now you can do a basic color correction to match the main clip with the overlay layer. It's not compulsory, but it'll make your clip look better. Add color balance or color tone to match the tone with the overlay layer. Now enable the shadow of the overlay layer. It'll make a glow-like effect behind the character. Now we have this clip. I want to remove the background only, not these parts. Here we can't use chroma key because it'll also remove these parts as both has the same color almost. So I'll use luma key. You can remove the darkest area of the clip with luma key. Add luma key. Adjust the settings until background is removed properly. by adding keyframes in each points.
not only vector drawing you can use other shapes also like rectangle, circle etc. Put every shape layer under the mask clip. Change the blending mode to mask exclude of all shapes. Now the background is removed properly, but it's not looking that much good. So do a basic color correction to match the background with foreground.